What's up everyone? So today, I'm going to start this video off with reading you some computer specs. Tell me what you think. A FIC VA503 Plus Baby AT Super Socket 7 Motherboard. An AMD K62350 Processor. 96 megabytes of PC100 SD RAM. A TIAC 1.44 floppy drive. A massive Samsung 6.4 gigabyte EIDE hard drive. A Mitsumi CR2801 CDR. A Creative 3D Blaster Riva TNT2 32 megabyte AGP video card. A Creative Ensonic sound card and a Creative DSi V90 modem. Those specs were from the first computer I ever built from scratch, way back in 1998. Now unfortunately, in November of 2000, I had to sell that computer for $300. But I'm on a mission to rebuild it, and I hope that you will join along, because I've already started getting the parts. Let me show you what I've got. I have got the motherboard and the processor. Now this one's got a few problems that I'll go over real quick. Uh, one being that I do not have the I.O. cables, but I'm probably gonna have those next week, I hope. It also has some leaky capacitors, so I'll need to get those replaced. They're simple 6.3 volt, 1500 microfarad capacitors. I'll desolder them, put new ones in, and hopefully the board is good, because I paid 60 bucks for this combo, but I've seen the board alone refurbished with nothing at all for two, three, and four hundred dollars. I'm not paying that. So hopefully we can get this one up and going. I've got the 96 megabytes of memory. I've got the heat sink and fan. I've got two IDE cables. I've got the CD. Whoops. Fun fact. Back in the day, you had to have one of these cables running between your CD-ROM and your sound card in order to hear CD audio. I've got a video card. Now while this is a Riva TNT2 32 megabyte AGP card, it is not the creative card that I originally had in the system. So hopefully I'll be able to pick one of those up at a cheap price. And I've got a 56K modem. Again, not creative but it'll do while I'm getting the original build done. What I've got left to get is a case, a floppy drive, a CD-ROM, and the hard drive. Hopefully I'll be able to find those parts in the coming weeks. I hope you like this video and that you'll stick around for the full build. If you'd like to be notified when the next one of these videos comes out, please hit that subscribe button. If you had a system that was similar to this back in the day, please post it below. I'd love to hear about it. And don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you and have a great day.